Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some Avorian and we are talking about, this is a part of the series where I'm talking about uh, setting up a base. In the first part we did location, and now we're talking about defense. Now you, you, when I'm talking about the bases, uh, systems, whatever, I typically use different words. So excuse me, sometimes I randomly rattle off whatever. Uh, what we want to talk about is when we get into these base situations or system situations where we're going to stick a fair amount of money and resources into it, we want to be able to defend it. Now there's two things that will alleviate 95% of your problems when it comes to this game, um, at least defense-wise. The other 5% is the game trying to fuck you. It will try to fuck you all the time. Even with me with 1,800 hours or plus in this game, beat this game multiple times, the other night I lost two stations. Don't know how. Well, I know how it happened. It just happens when you're trying to do something and you're particularly weak. And they will, the game will just shove some shit at you like a pirate raid with a Zotan emergence at the same time. And now instead of four ships you got in the system, you got 20. And you only have, in this situation, I was shuffling ships around. And I only had two defensive stations. And they ended up blowing up two of my stations. Just a perfect example of it. It does happen. So... And, you know, at this point in the game, it's not that big a deal. But when you're first starting out, you lose two stations. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of cash. That's a lot of materials that you've now lost. So with that said, now remember, you have to adjust this all according to what level you're playing at. And also, of course, uh, where you are in the galaxy. Back here, you don't have to be quite as uh, crazy with what you're going to defend with. Uh, versus what you're going to get here in the center of the galaxy. However, there's two things you have to remember. Like I said, we were talking about what I just said earlier. Uh, there's two things that will alleviate about 95% of your problems. One. Whoops. After all these years, still can't figure out where the button's at. Energy suppressor satellites. They work for good for 10 hours. They're 100,000 credits a piece. Use them. Click on it. Hit use, it'll shuttle this little piece of junk out in the space, and it'll suppress all energy from this system, which will will alleviate most pirate raids and Zotan um, events. Very nice to have. It's super cheap. Um, once they burn out, stick another one out. Just, you know, stay on top of it. Second thing, especially if you're a new guy, is for your stations, or, you know, even in the mine, the mine too, I guess, uh... Building your station out of a big piece of rock like this makes sense. Very, very little material. Uh, about 7,843 iron. This thing's probably got about a million, maybe two million hull. Um, hollow it out. Put all your goodies on the inside. Close it back up with a rock. Very hard for a pirate raid or a Zotan raid to destroy one of these. Can be done. Like I said, I lost two stations. But that was just the fact is I just got simply got overrun, and by the time I got defensive ship, ships there, they had a good two, three, four minutes of, of blowing up stations. So yeah, but in that situation, this price-wise versus say uh, something like you know this um, that asteroid. Uh, has probably more HP than this thing does at 3 million trinium. Just something to think about when you're building new guys. You, you, th th this is the easiest way to ensure that you're not going to lose uh, something like that. Um, but if you played for a while, you guys know you guys know what I'm talking about here. S those two things, 95% leave most of your problems. The other thing is you can also do. Uh, which I should get say three things that can leave it is this system right here has got four at four ash or four um, mines in it. I've never been back. Once I set the four mines up, I left. Never have to worry about getting raided. But most of these other systems, you're going to be in and out, setting up factory trains and all that kind of stuff. You're going to have to have something to do about it here, or something to uh, defend it with. So usually, I figure. Two stations for the iron titanium. Or two two defense ships here. Two defense ships here for the neonite titanium. Neonite trinium. At least three ships. These are minimums, right? These are minimums. 
the barrier four the interior here at this point here when we're talking about zero zero which is going to be right up against the edge we're talking about anywhere from four to six depending on how powerful ships are like i said you're going to have to base the sizes on um, you're going to expand up inside uh, you know you're going to make the ships bigger stronger as you go now how do i know what i need for at least firepower on the ships and um hull shields and all that kind of stuff and i'll be honest with you that typically i've found this to be pretty pretty valid most of these go to a smuggler's hideout in the general area they're at and look at their ships for some reason smuggler hideouts have some pretty powerful ships like they're typically more powerful than the than the factions and they're definitely more powerful than running into a pirate or a zotan group so i usually go to one of those look at what the hp the shields and their omicron rating is and then figure two to three times as much uh, for your ships why is that because the npc captains you get are dumb as boxer ox i had one the other day here i watched him he ran into an asteroid flipped around 37 times like that and then sat there for like almost a minute before he moved again and didn't shoot anything so put two cap and typically I have at least one this is my ship I use to farm um, Boswak uh, but I do have one other cruiser here and this is my general design for cruisers um, which I use all the way through the game uh, th this this one I use here and I use what, similar ones all the way up to the barriers ones inside the barriers are different ships uh, these aren't quite as big Another thing to remember, don't rely entirely on your defense ships. The absolute best defense tool, at least mobile unit-wise, is fighters. These guys. You know why? Because they don't fuck off. The, these defense ships will fuck off, not do their job, not kill anything. Fighters don't care. Once they get sent out, they will chase everything until it's dead. So I, I believe heavily in fighters. Now this ship here, since it's, uh, this is actually on the low end part of the game... Um, those fighters are plenty strong enough because they're trinium. Some of them are trinium fighters. They will destroy anything here. If you don't have to, don't put fighters on your ships. What happens is, if for some reason, the ships end up just kind of following the fighters around and they don't actually get into the fight. So if you don't have to, take the take the fighters off of it and just let the guns do its work. It seems to be more successful. But in this situation, since the fighters are so powerful, uh, I'm not too worried about it. However, I have other stations here. That station, the, the shipyard station. I think I have three other stations here that have fighters on them too. Remember, you get one free uh, squadron uh, per station or per ship. So spread them out a little bit. Helps a bunch. I believe wholeheartedly in fighters as being the best mobile unit in the game to defend your system. Um, versus the actual ships. We still want ships there just in case. You can jump into one of them and, and pick up the fight. But the fighters do most of the work because they not, they're not bothered, bothered by asteroids. And they just they do what they need to be done, which is destroy the enemy. However, once we get past this point of, like I said, you know, 2-2, two, 4-4, two, um, four, four, or whatever it is, to get up to this point, uh, then I switch to non-mobile units, uh, which are going to be kind of like a battle station. Uh, cause mostly because the fact is it seems like this, well, once this area gets up here, quite a bit more enemies and they're quite a bit more powerful than what you're going to run in back there. And I prefer to use a station in this situation instead of using, uh, for example, building it out of a ship, especially since they've changed it where you can't quite get as much HP as you used to out of a ship. So typically I use one type of station, is which of course is the equipment dock. You want equipment docks anyway, because if you're gonna have lots of ships, you know, like I think I'm gonna put on like around 32 ships right now, I have to have a lot of equipment to equip those. So I have a fair amount of equipment docks. Now I just, all I did with this ship was, where this station is, I built it out of a fairly large asteroid, about 11 million haul, and then of course filled it with, um, once I take the back off here, this is a big chunk of Oganite stone, take it off the back, and then fill it up with, um, uh, you know, uh, generators, uh, shield generators and all that kind of stuff. And I still can modify it up quite a bit uh, <laughs> and make this just ridiculous. Probably over 100 million hull 
um, but you know this is depends on what how much material I have I don't have that much material so I have to keep them relatively small and then of course load it with as much long-range weaponry as I can which are includes uh, rocket launchers more rocket launchers and of course fill it out with um, fighters this ship also since I'm using it as an equipment dock which is my favorite thing to use is of course as a trade equipment torpedoes yeah you can so if this shoots off all of us torpedoes you buy it you don't have to come here and constantly re um, resupply it uh, same with the fighters you lose fighters just go over to the fighter deal buy some more fighters uh, it's also a lot quicker because it lets you until you're building to actually getting built fighters to these stations uh, it's just quicker just to buy them and you got them there right away you don't have to wait for um, something to build it uh, wherever you're building your fighters at and bring them here they're instantaneously ready to go still use four ships in this region um, this one here is uh, this is actually what I use for whoops uh, this one I actually use for raiding but since I'm in system yeah I'm in system uh, it sits here and waits until I'm ready to raid again you know right around 23 million shields about a million hull uh, this is this is something I would jump back into if there was a fight going on I'd jump into this and then I would go do my business here uh, to destroy it I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea at least uh, um, uh, when it comes to size wise what you need this this, this requires a lot of time right uh, but when you think about it all of these stations all these mines you start losing them it's a big it's a big time waste money waste and material waste to lose all that if you don't have it you know somewhat defended placement wise looking at it from the strategy mode which is you know we talked about this earlier with a um, how every how all the ships spawn in here so this I have actually have it marked out there's one corner there's one corner there's the other corner and then there's the other corner so there's your square that we were talking about earlier and this is where all of the ships typically and you can see if I go a little bit higher there, there's one there's one there's one there's one and of course it makes a rough circular circle I'm sorry and then typically in this fashion I put the battle station directly in the middle of it I might eventually I'm uh, this is one to probably pick up because with its long range artillery these are only 15 kilometers away it can start shooting at anything that pops into system um, but once again that's filled with fighters this one's filled with fighters I believe there's two other stations and one mine that have fighters so I have it adequately protected now uh, before like I said <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to flip stuff out change up some ships and all that kind of stuff change up some stations and I got hit game likes to fuck you what are you gonna do try to prepare as best you can cross your fingers and all that kind of stuff um, and it was at the exact same time that one of my one of these uh, I had just got the notification that the energy suppressor satellite had burned out and I just jumped in the system to put it up again and it hit me they, it does it the game the game just knows you're weak right so that's outside the barrier inside the barrier not using anything here because these are nothing more than um, mines if I only time I go there unless I have a warship I don't jump into that system in any of those mines without a warship with me uh, but just leaving as is with just the mines and never going back um, they'll never get attacked all I'm using those mines for is increase my uh, diplomacy wise here with this faction this is a little different story we're, we're starting to get into some fairly powerful baddies so we've upped our game here so I think this station is about 12 13 million hull and about 150 million same exact design as the other one just this one of course is this one I've loaded also with rail guns and once again another trading dock loaded with torpedoes and I of course buy uh, buy these oh home stake one is very low cruise on strike wonder what happened there I'll have to go check that out here in a bit here so Tesla fighters you know if I want to buy some of those oh place is already free don't have any more room on my dock um, but yeah we'll do that and and ship wise this is where of course it gets a little bit 
a little bit more crazy. 202 shields, 202 million shields, 3 million hull uh, for this area. I'm going to end up with a, probably a five more of these ships. Because like I said, all my turn, my high level target factories are here. My research is here. Uh, stuff I do not want to get blown up. Especially if those turret factories produce good turrets. Don't want to lose those. Super special, right? Got to keep the big guns. So this is still a work in progress. Getting this ready for, of course, once I take on the Guardian. And we have the Zotan events afterwards. This thing has to be ready to take on multiple waves of patties. So with that said, do you guys have any questions down below about what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, all kind of that kind of shit, let me know, uh, and uh, I'll try to get you answered.